Good afternoon, everyone. Jason here. Today is March 10th, and this is your aftermarket update. So we had a good day here at the Oil Trading Group, uh, a good day that could have been a much better day. I'm going to show you here in just a moment uh, what I'm talking about. We had uh, one trade today, uh, and as happens here quite frequently, uh, despite our best efforts to try and manage these trades, uh, we got stopped out by a tick today. Uh, before the market ran on a really big run. We had a good day here. Could have been a monster day. Let me talk uh, to you just a little bit about, let's uh, kind of go through it here. So as the market opened today, uh, we had this move right up into the daily structure signal. Uh, but as has been the case on uh, my couple of losing days here recently, um, I've gotten kind of caught up in that uh, open uh, emotion. So I, I avoided that opening uh, salvo here today, although your daily structure signal did give you uh, the perfect opportunity to get short, and I'll show you why I call it the perfect opportunity here. Um, when you are looking for this move into the daily structure signal, by the way, and this is our market maker levels, this daily structure signal, the bar closed below and began this uh, move to the downside. If it makes it through this structure mid, then what you are looking for then is a move down into the structure target. That structure target down here today uh, was 48.80. So what you're going to hear uh, actually, when you watch this trade of the day video, you're going to hear me talk about this target being here at 21. That's when we initially got into the trade. And I'll show you where we got into the trade here in just a moment. But that was where the initial stop was going to be, was or target rather, uh, was 48.21. However, about uh, a third of the way into the trade, uh, I said that we were going to move this target down here to 48 uh, 81 and that's where I ultimately moved it down to and uh, that is what we, our target was going to be so what we did here once we got into this daily structure signal um, and we did not get above it uh, again I did not trade here right at this opening uh, bar I've had uh, on the couple of losing days that I've had recently uh, like I said I've gotten kind of washed up in the uh, initial open here and so I wanted to avoid that today, but once we came down to this decision point at the daily structure mid, uh, this is where we were looking to get short. Uh, that actually was at 61, um, and actually it was the market structure mid. Let me turn this on. It was this market structure mid level here at 71, 72, actually get in short. There was some liquidity stacked up in this area. I get in short here at 69, and then we are looking for uh, this move all the way down. Uh, initially, it was to 21, and then later on, we were uh, looking for this target down here at 4880. Uh, so I'm going to turn these market structure signals off for just a second. Market kind of rotates around this area here and then begins the process of coming to the downside, right? Moves down, moves down. It comes right down into your daily structure signal. In fact, we get down here to 10. So what I'm doing here with my entry was up here at 69. I begin to trail stop uh, price action down here and I have a stop at 39. My trail stop uh, ends up being at 39. Market kind of rotates around and takes me out right here at 40, right? Takes me out right here at 40. Now, you may say, well, why didn't you go above this really double slash triple top up here at 46? And that was absolutely a possibility. But again, you can see here the way that we were hanging on to this support zone here at the daily structure signal. There was an opportunity or a chance that this market could have moved to the mid. So I was trying to protect uh, as much as I could here. And of course, I get stabbed out right here. Uh, my trail stop was 39, and I get stopped out right here at uh, 40. So the market then uh, moves and kind of rotates around and rotates around and makes a little bit jab step lower and eventually comes all the way down into the target to the tick. So 69 to 80 would have been 89 ticks. I ended up with. Uh, 60, let's see, 89 actually times two uh, would have been 178 ticks, and I end up with 64. So could have been a monster day. It was a really nice day. Could have been a monster day, and that's just one of those things that just uh, seems to happen to us here recently uh, more times than I care to talk about. But that's the bad news. The good news is we were right again in terms of direction. We were able to take a nice, long uh, trade uh, to a target out of this, uh, out of that long move to the downside, and it was a really nice way uh, to end our Friday. So what I'm going to do here is kind of what we always do. I've recorded this particular trade for you. It was one trade and done today. 
I'm going to let you watch uh, this OTG trade of the day. We'll cut it down into pieces, speed it up, put some music behind it uh, so that we can turn uh, what was about a 40-minute trade into a five- or six-minute trade so that you can kind of see how it comes to completion. So again, um, I'm going to let you watch this OTG trade of the day. Okay, there's 68, 69, and I got in this time at 69. Stop is 82. Target is 21. So you can see there at the end of that trade, a little frustrating that we came right up into. I got taken out by a tick. This bar goes right up to 40 right here after bouncing off of this daily structure signal, which was at 21, and then moves all the way down to what would have eventually been our target at 48.80. It would have been a really nice trade had we been able to stay in uh, that trade all the way to the end. Otherwise, it was just a really good trade. Um, and that sometimes is the difference between great trades and good trades uh, is one tick here and there. But we're not complaining. It was a nice winning day here. It was a nice way to end the week. And we had a nice positive week here at the Oil Trading Group. So, uh, again, as always, I want to say thank you for spending time watching the videos here at the Oil Trading Group. And until next time, I want to wish you good luck and good trading.